Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech It and the last Red Power tutorial, yes. At least the last general tutorial, I might do some uh, tutorials about specific stuff, but um, yep. Cool, so this time we're going to look at Red Power Logic. Um, you all remember the redstone gates and how to make them and all this talk about how to make them most compact and easy and fast and Red Power just changes this completely and it's awesome. So yep, it's redstone made easy and compact. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, it's like a sales pitch. <laughs> so let's start off with the knot gate. Now it's very easy. Um, now there's going to be a lot of stuff to craft here. Um, get away, rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hover over them like that and you can just sort of pause the video. So yep, uh, and all of these are made with the same ingredients by the way. So stone wafers, stone anodes, stone cathodes and stone wires and stone pointers for only two of them I think. So cool. This is how you make the knot gate. All good. Perfect. Now the knot gate uh, looks like that. And it's probably the easiest gate out there. So it checks one input, which is this side here, uh, with the sort of squibbly line. And if this input is off, all these other sides are on. And when I turn the input on, it turns it off. So that's the knot gate, very simple. Then we move on to the RS latch, or in some versions it's called the RS nor latch. It's a bit weird. So this is how you make it. Cool, so that's it. Now this thing works a bit weirdly, but it's incredibly useful in a lot of stuff. So if you've seen my tutorial about how to make a horizontal sliding door using red power frames, I'm using these latches and they're incredibly useful. So how does this work? Well, you can see these sort of um, signs on, on, on the gate itself. Now these sort of indicate which side is on. So at any given time only one of these sides is on. So at the moment it's it's these two. But when I give power to this, it'll switch to this side. And then we give power there oh, there again, it'll switch to these two again. Um so I don't really want to give you an example now of how you would use this because it'll sort of make a whole machine then. Um but keep that in mind you can you can do this and it's very handy. So then we move on to the toggle latch. Um, this thing is pretty handy. I haven't used it much yet myself. Um, I'll just show you how to make it whilst I talk. Um, but I can see how it can come in handy. So yep. This is it right here. So the way this works is you've got two sides again. Um, and there's a lever on it. You can right click it and it'll switch the sides like that and you can also go via this input channel here and switch them that way so anytime a redstone pulse is given it'll switch now this is sort of handy for counters even for some clocks um, scoreboards you know you, you can use all the all this sort of stuff so moving on yeah next one the nor gate now this one again is very useful uh, it takes about six or seven blocks to make this in, in normal redstone, as far as I know. Um, this is pretty much as the knot gate, but it just sort of does it. If any input is on, so it has three inputs, which are these three here. If any of them is on, uh, this input is off. So it doesn't matter if I turn two on, it'll still be off, of course. Um, so yeah. That's the NOR gate. Now we move on to the NAND gate. And this one is made like that. So again, the same basic ingredients for every single gate in, in Red Power. So, this one is gives has three inputs. So these three sides here. Now you're supposed to be able to right click on them to turn off some inputs, but I haven't figured out how to do that oh, but I might just be retarded <laughs> um, so there's one output now the output is on if any of these are off 
so if they're all on the output is off but if any of them is off then the output is on so that's the AND gate now um, you do have to get all sides powered so it doesn't help if you remove one of them so let's move on AND gate now this is uh, exactly the opposite of the AND gate uh, to show you how to make it very quickly. There you go. All good. So the output here is only on when all the inputs are on as well. So there's again three inputs. Um, when they're all on, the output is on as well. And even when one is off, the output is off as well. So that's the oh, that's the AND gate. Very useful little thing. Phew! Okay, there's more. The OR gate. Now this does exactly what you would expect. I can show you how to make it. Cool. So, this just works if any of the inputs. So again, we have three inputs here and one output. And usually in Red Power you can see the output by the singular torch on the end. Um, so it's the same here. So if any of these inputs, any of these three is on, the output is on as well. It doesn't matter if you turn free on, input is still on. So that's the OR gate. Now then we have the XOR gate. So that's how you make it. Oh. Yeah, perfect. So this one is a little bit different. So this one only is on when one of the inputs is on. It only has two inputs, so these sides. Um, I'm fairly sure that this is not an input. Actually, I'm completely sure that that's not an input. So the output is only on when only one of these is on. So it doesn't matter which one is on, as long as there's only one. So yep, that's the XOR gate. Then we move on to the XNOR gate, just like that. Cool. So, this one is on when both inputs, and again there's only two inputs, when both inputs are the same. So now they're different because that's off and that's on, so the output is off. But when they're both off, the output is still on. So as long as the two inputs are the same, so both off or both on, the output is on as well. So that's that. Now then we have the NOT gate. That's how you make that one. And the NOT gate <coughs> is pretty much the same as the uh, the first gate we did right here the NOT gate exactly the same so I just made another example so when the input is on all the outputs are off and when the input is off all the outputs are on so I should you have to make that already so then we get to the buffer gate now this thing is is at first it, it looks very useless but it's actually quite useful in, 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 in a few circumstances so the way this works is that there's one input, there's three outputs. When the input is on, the outputs are on as well. Now you might think, oops, why not just put another redstone wire here? And that will work the exact same way. Because, you know, well, this is used a lot for two-way power. So say, for example, we put another lever here, we turn that on. If you had another just LOI here, all these will be on as well, but now they're not. So that's sort of why it's it's used mostly. Um, I haven't seen many uses for it yet, um, but that could just be me as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's the buffer gate. Then we get to the multiplexer. And this, so this is uh, very interesting. So anodes, cathodes again. You know, same story, you know the drill by now. Cool. So, this one is a bit weird. So this one has two different types of input. So the first input is here, and this switch 
determines which side determines the output. So if that doesn't make sense, <laughs> say when it's off, you can see that these two lights are on. So this side now determines the, the output of this. If I do this switch, it does nothing. But when I switch this, this um, red power on, you can see it switches to this side. And now this determines what the output is. So you can make some really complex stuff with this. So yeah, that's the multiplexer. Let's move on. There's only two more, I think. Three maybe. Yep, three more. So this is the counter and it works a bit weird. Um, I haven't figured out how to use it effectively yet, but I think I will at some point. <laughs> so again, this is how you make it. Now, you place this and it shows you a minus and a plus. Uh, and the minus is for this way and the plus is for that way. Now, let's see. You right click on it, you get this thing. Now as the name suggests, it's a counter, so it counts. And anytime it gets to a certain amount, it'll tick and it'll send a redstone pulse. And these two means, say now the maximum count is five. And these two is anytime we get power from, this one is the plus side, so this side, how much does this counter need to change? So anytime I give this side power, it'll go up by one. So at the moment it's already the max because it's all the way here, so it's already at five. So if I give this power, it doesn't do anything because it's already the max. Um, and this is for the other side, so decrement one as well. So supposedly if I give this one pulse, this should move about 20% of the way to this counter. Let's see, there we go. It moved a little bit so now they're both off and the counter is at one so now it's two three four five and it'll take over to this side so you can use some really cool mechanisms with this especially with frame doors i think this will work pretty well and to time it out properly you can use this as well uh, even for clocks you know it's beautiful so we can say for example that the max count will be 10 and any time we give it power, it'll increment with 5 and decrement with 5. So now it's at 0 at the moment because it's all the way here on the minus side. So if we do once, it should go to the middle. Because, you know, 5 is half of 10. And again, we power this and it should be 10 then. So there we go, all the way there. So this is really advanced stuff, you know, if, if you probably wouldn't get into this unless you want to make clocks and all that sort of stuff. So let's move on to repeat. I know this sounds very familiar. Um, it is pretty much exactly the same. It works exactly the same as the vanilla repeater. Um, well, not just pretty much. It works exactly the same as the vanilla repeater. Uh, it just has more options. So it says it here on the sign. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So that just means how long it delays it. So at the standard it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So this just allows you to make, instead of having 5 vanilla repeaters in a row to get to six, uh, 64, you can just have 1. So you can see this is delayed by a long time. A very long time. <laughs> so they have it, that's a repeater. Pretty handy. That was 32 by the way, not 64. <laughs> Cool, and the last one, the sequencer. Now, I love this thing, I don't know why, but it just looks amazing. <laughs> uh, show you how to make it first. It's almost the same as the timer. There we go, and it makes this thing. Now, it's exactly the same as the timer, except for it has four outputs. And it just turns in a circle and then it activates them one at a time, which is pretty crazy. So it's very useful. Now again, if you right click on it, same as the timer, you can set the interval. So if we want to make it go crazy, for example, that's it. So you can imagine hooking up some lights to this or something will look absolutely crazy, like a disco. Uh, 
I think it might lag a bit though. I'm thinking if you have a couple of these on a multiplayer server, um, it might lag a little bit. Especially if you set it this fast. So yeah, that's it folks. That's all. That's uh, all my red power. As you can see, it's uh, it's quite a... I'm trying to get it into one screen. That was part one, part two, part three, and part four, the, the logic part. So there's a lot of machines in Red Power. There's a lot of stuff you can do once you start combining them. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I can actually uh, maybe show you... Where did I do this? Here. So here you can see um, I'm using two timers and an iris latch because I didn't know how, to, how the counter worked yet. Uh, these are some frames that I was talking about earlier. And you can do so much cool stuff with this that really you don't see often, you know. Um, so I've got these massive horizontal sliding doors, which are pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And probably the next series I'll make is Industrial Craft. Yeah, probably Industrial Craft. And then after that, we'll move on to Build Craft. So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to support me, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.